Right. Hello, I'm Mark Patterson, MCKFA. I'm down here at the Hadrill Show. I'm here with Casey. He's going to tell you all about some very interesting things that he and his company do. Hey, uh, nice to meet everyone. So, my name is Casey Davidson. Uh, Toadfish Outfitters is the name of our new company. And we're on a mission. Um, so, with every product we sell, we're replanting moisture habitat uh, awesome. in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Um, and how that works is basically uh, today we're shucking oysters and showing people, really, <laughs> um, you know, showing people, letting them taste those flavors. But at the same time, we're saying, hey guys, I don't know if you know this, but when you eat oysters, you're really supposed to take those shells and put them in. And that is our mission. So toadfish, you put them back. Uh, actually, when you take this empty shell and you put this back in the environment, these live oysters will spat in the summertime on their spawn. The little microorganisms float along, they attach to the old shell, and in two years' time, you'll have a whole new oyster to grow. Awesome. So basically, every time you shuck an oyster, you have an opportunity to put it back and rebuild the next generation of oysters. That is very good information because I know a lot of our NC Cafe members go out and harvest oysters uh, during the season and now we know what to do with the shell. Yeah, so we work with uh, restoration programs uh, across the southeast trying to set up recycling centers that you can, after your oyster is, have a place to take your shell. They'll, they'll load up all the shell and find the exact right place to put it back so you can your oyster beds. And as you know, I mean, this is the centerpiece of the entire ecosystem. So That's correct. This oyster, one oyster can filter 50 gallons of water per day. So that what makes that what's that's what makes the water clean. Uh, you know, obviously habitat for all the fish and all shrimp. So the more shrimp we plant, the better the fish it's going to be for everyone. I know that's that's what we all love. That's, that's why we're so, here today. Um, and we're doing that through um, the sale of our oyster knives. So this is our, our beautiful put them back oyster knife. Um, and they are awesome. My wife's told me not to come home without them. Yeah, we have uh, that model. We also have a white model. Um, we're also making a cool shrimp deveiner now called the Frogmore Shrimp Tool, which um, also peels deveins and butterfly shrimp at the same time. Can they really see cool. that on your website? Yeah, they can see that on the website. Um, and then a cool cut proof shucking cloth. Um, but yeah, just through the sale of our oyster knife last year, we were able to donate over $30,000 to oyster habitat restoration. Wow. Um, and plant over 4,000 square feet of new beds, um, which was just incredible um, for my wife and I uh, here in Charleston, you know, shipping this stuff out of my shed in the backyard. And it's uh, it's really just been an awesome mission to spread awareness about this really important if you cause. And, uh, we're having a blast. Don't think it's and thank you so much. No problem. And in North Carolina, uh, we can find your amazing knives and all your products at Great Outdoor Provisions. Great Outdoor Provisions. Um, in Wilmington, a, a great retailer, Red X, carries our products as well. Um, and uh, it's kind of a spattering tackle shops and you know, disperse sports and places like this. But if we go on the website, we can do a locator. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you guys for spending time with us. Thank you, Casey. Hey, thanks so much, man.